What you're saying is, is there a point in the process where you take off the producer hat and are just wearing the director hat, and you've got other, you know, other associates really producing for you? Oh yeah, there's, there's, it's constantly all day long. You just, uh, you, the, but the director, either the, in, in my case, the director does what the producer wants him to do, <laughs> and so uh, it, it's okay. Uh, uh, but there's there's really not too much separation. Uh, I, I grew up, uh, it, it, producing went through such a, a bad period years ago where uh, it, 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 the, the, the people that we grew up with, the Hal Wallace type producers that were very effective and very in, involved, and it, and it became a, a period where, where producing uh, became, I, I, if I get off the track here, you can put me back on, but uh, is uh, where, where people were, uh, getting their agents to be the producer and, and, and actors would come in and bring their business managers and make them producers. Right. And I, I know that the, the producers guilds have been very good about uh, 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 def the credit. De defining what the producer is and the producer's involvement because you know people were getting producing credits that were just uh, you yeah. know, your, your grandmother or whomever. <laughs> and, uh, so we kind of, it kind of it kind of got really out of control, but uh, but so but but the producers had I've never thought of it more than them. It's a business a businessman is the producer that has to take care of a lot of responsibility business wise, and and the director can sit there and just shoot and, uh, and play around. But but if you do both, you have to kind of always be conscious of it. Uh, my first picture was uh, uh, it cost seven hundred thousand dollars, and and I I was uh, you know I I figured I've I got to do it. I've got to do it for this price because that's uh, the, 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 what I've agreed to. And uh, when you uh, and the, and the producer somewhere uh, it can protect the director a lot of times. But uh, when you're doing it yourself, uh, but I have I've got the guys with me, other, other producers uh, like Rob Lorenz is my associate. He's uh, constantly reminding me of certain. Uh, uh, Responsibilities. Responsibilities <laughs> and money problems and what have you like that. So we, 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 get, we get along pretty good, but uh, I don't see too much of a difference. I think they're both, they're, they're both uh, co-equal uh, partners, the producer and the director, and I think uh, uh, it's, it's very important that, that way to, to keep that. Right. To keep that Alejandro? Uh, and he had asked the, he had asked the same question about no, he, just, he, yeah. he just he runs the whole damn thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, in my experience, uh, I, I, I consider the, the production is, I think, maybe the hardest thing because honestly, I think sometimes, uh, you know, as a producer, you have to, in a way, be looking for what really needs, what the film needs more than the director's needs, but at the same time, the expectations of the financiers of his too. So I think it's a very you know, there um, a lot of producers. I think I feel sometimes that it's a crush kind of thing between two gods that you have to serve in some way, and and I try to put my cap much more of the producer in the design of the film, in, in the decisions that are made prior to start shooting, in a way that those are smart or helpful to 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 achieve the the financial kind of responsibilities and obviously to serve the film aesthetically, uh, uh, narratively, all those decisions in the thing. Once I start shooting the film, I try as much as possible to ask uh, uh, to be in that space of creative kind of thing because I need to concentrate much more into find what the film is about and you know what I mean, to be in that realm, to be serving as a producer, directing the film to be making the best film possible. So, in a way, I divided into a stage. In the, the pre-production, I, 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 I wear a lot the producer thing. Once I go in, I'm, I'm the director and I'm taking care of the film itself. And even I have to fight with my producers or anybody that doesn't really challenge that. And, and, and I think that's the way I serve more as a producer of the film and, not the, and as a director. Too. Is that the same for you too, Richard? Yeah. I, w I would share that. There, but if you think about it, you do spend a lot more time producing. Those days that you're shooting and in director mode, in the big picture, you're going to spend a lot more time 
producing. So I think it's just really, it's great to have a producing partners that see it exactly the way you do and you've made the big decisions and you, you're kind of, you know, on the same path. And my, I had um, Kathleen Sutherland. We just kind of could finish each other's sentences. We knew what the film needed and it, it's just a very good working relationship. But there is a time to, to put that away and um, for the, as much as you can. And that's if there's not problems. And so if you've solved those problems before you're shooting, then you're blessed to really just concentrate on what you're doing. But for me, it's putting away the writer. To me, the writer hat goes away and I'm directing. You know? So films are kind of a series of putting other things away. 